I mean, it's about to happen in like two seconds. Let's go. All right. There we go. We're in the game. Probably one of the best collectathons ever made. It's Ape Escape on the loose for the Sony PlayStation, the portable. Yeah, this is a fun game. I am going to be 100%ing this game. So, if you've been, you know, chomping at the bit for all kinds of sick monkey trivia for Ape Escape, don't worry, I got you. There he is, Joshua Seth. Who gave that monkey a gun? Like, I know they don't have tails, but they were just at a place called Monkey Park, so listen. I also like that, like, that that girl. Like, she's, she's important to the plot, but she's like... Ah, uh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. You've never seen this game before. <clears throat> Is that a- is that an ape? He's got a gun! Blam, blam! Alright, here we go. It's a beautiful sunshiny day! <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm not gonna do that. Anyway. And now, for your listening pleasure, Richard Stephen Horvitz talking to Joshua Seth. Take it away, guys. There he is, Ty Digimon. Um, I never actually played any other Ape Escape games, because they're such bizarre video games. I should give them a shot at one point, but like the idea of like. This is the way I've grown up with the game, and, like, the gadgets, um... The way they function in, uh, on the- in a regular Ape Escape game compared to this one just kind of make me go... But... Why though? Because this- this control scheme is very cozy, and... The other games are like, yeah, move- tilt the stick forward to swing your items, and I'm like... I'm sorry? Huh? What? Who? And like, I know why, right? It's, it's, it's the same reason that a lot of games are like that. It's because they were built with a control scheme or design in mind, and it just kind of so went on I that way. It. If that does that, then this happens. In other words, that causes this. Therefore, if in fact that happens, then... Eureka! Natalie, the time oh, machine right is complete! Already. We've got bigger problems, you know? <clears throat> All right, here's the lore dump. Spike, can you hear me? Something incredible has happened. As a result of that accident, you have been warped through time. You will soon arrive in the I forget who this guy's voice actor is, if I even know it. The news, Spike, is that a band of monkeys is also lost in the past in many different lands. If those monkeys are left to their own devices, they will probably end up seriously changing the course of history. Spike? I have a request to make of you. Luckily, you uh, should be in the possession of two gadgets I've invented. Bill Proctor is his voice actor. Go after as many of I remember I also, um... You'll be able to capture them with the time No. Net. Wait, is he Dr. White? Shut up. Dangerous situation, use the stun club to defend yourself. Well it will definitely come in handy. Oh my god. Be more than up to the huge <laughs> so apparently he's, uh... This voice actor you. is, um... What's his name? Uh... Phil and Lil's dad, Howard, from, um... What's it called? From Rugrats. Anyway. Here it is. Our main objective is to capture these monkeys. Okay. So, I remember playing, I remember seeing this game as a kid, um, when I was younger, like, in a magazine. I'm like, what, what sort of character is this? I saw Spike's hair, and I'm like, who is this? Who are you? So basically how it happens is that you gotta stun the monkeys with the stun club, 
Or, if you're, you know, the more discernible type, you can just sneak up on them. Oop, wrong button. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I... The secret's out, everybody. I'm not a legit gamer. I'm gonna... Okay, so I curl up. So if I just sneak up... You can do it like this, or you can also do it the way I did, where you just kind of chase him down. Just like that. Um, it's a very, very fun collectathon. Um, there's bosses, there's all kinds of neat stuff in this game. There's a, like a, a bunch of neat gadgets you pick up. But we'll get to those as we get to those. Throw it over here. Oh man. I, I, I cleared this stage without even really thinking about it. I have to run back. Because I want to grab that item in the uh, tree really fast. Oh wow, really? Interesting. <laughs> so there's a lot of neat stuff that the game doesn't really tell you you can do. Not the least of which is like this, which you can just do for some reason. Is this still fucked up? You'll need this actually later on, but it's it's a neat thing. That's literally on my fault for not checking Discord. Hi. <laughs> Lamau. L literally. <laughs> like, God. Leap, you must escape. Man, I, I love Electro in, uh, what's it called, in Spider-Man 94. He's not even there that long. He's at, like, the very end of the episode, at the end of the show. And the twist with that is that, like, oh, guess what? I'm Red Skull's son. They have this cool lightning suit. I'm gonna be go mad with power. Yeah. And that's it. He also but, puts a couple characters in uh, The Tick. But uh, as a result of that, we get uh, David Hayter uh, Cap in there. Simeon Snatcher. <laughs> that's good. That's good stuff. He put a lot of people on Rugrats, like a bunch of extras. Um, also, at some points, you'll hear um, a different, like, voice actors, because um, they do a good job of replacing everybody's voice in this with the new voice actors, except for, like, one moment, and it'll be very apparent. Biff, look, I, I know you're talking about something right now, but I have to fucking talk about this, or else I will go literally insane. Mm -hmm. He voices the Intellivision voice module... Lamau. For the games, B-17 Bomber and Bomb Squad! That's incredible. B-17 Bomber. That's him! Incredible. <laughs> uh, so, this is just another net, basically. It's, it, they, you already described what it is. It's the water net lets you shoot underwater. Holy fuck! Remember, if you don't complete you, a training remember, level, you... you'll be able to advance to the next level. Good luck. Remember, save it now or doing it again. Uh, stamped into my brain. I'm trying to think if I have any of those that are still stamped into my brain. Oh, Dr. yeah. Arnold. Hey, Sora! You feel lucky today? <laughs> yeah, good old, good old Titus. That's Titus. just Titus! <laughs> That's not even how you pronounce his name, I'm just saying shit. It's Titus. It's no, it's Titus. I'm gonna it's, keep calling him Titus. It's Titus. <laughs> I mean, like, you made the company that made, uh, what's the name of that fucking game? Superman 64? It's kind of cringe. <laughs> yeah, that is Titus, huh? Uh-huh. Damn. And these monkeys can jump mad vertical. So, Viv, I, I know you just simply do not give a shit about comic books. In fact, it's your least I do thing. like comic books. I'm just sick of, like, Marvel. I am going to read Sonic at some point. I've been meaning to, but like many things I'm meaning to do, my brain is just like, hey, what if you just didn't do this for like a long ass time for no reason? And I'm like, all right, whatever you say, boss. Where the fuck you go? There you are. Dropping shit over like I just don't care. Also, yeah, there's these sick little, I love these sick little mailboxes that are just floating. Got him. That's one out of four. Who's next? Let's 
So, uh, uh Wily Eggman Bowser. Just, whatever I say is incriminating. Uh, I just want to say, by the way, um, uh, they even pronouns kind of slap. They do. This is your friend of the matter, that I am a she they. They them pronouns like lol. Like, I like, the, I the really most, like the most pog pronouns. I, I, I like she her, but they them is really snug and fits nicely into my gender. Listen, it's 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 got a nice <laughs> me, flavor. Me see, me see pronouns it like ah a fun addition to my collection. Oh uh, man, I I I'm 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 not at like the pronouns point yet. I'm only at like um intermediate pronouns, intermediate nouns. Uh, can we stop going so fast? Oh, damn it! I mixed the specter coin again. I mean, fam, uh, you just gotta get good. You're right. This isn't baby nouns no more. Damn. I have to go back and get those Spectre Coins. Well, Spectre Coins don't really do anything, but they do unlock fun little mini-games I might show off. Like Monkey Sorry, now Boxing! <laughs> now I'm just thinking with the song, uh, I Don't Care Anymore by, uh... Oh, what's the guy from Genesis? Oh, shit, what's his name? Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic! Yeah! <laughs> Same joke. Same joke. <laughs> now, uh, I'm trying, of, I'm trying to think of his name now. Um, it's, it's not... It's not Gabriel, uh, it's not Peter Gabriel, it's the other one. He's, he, the guy did, uh, I can feel coming in the air tonight. Uh... Oh, god, what's this dude's name? Fuck. Like, I, 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 I know, know his actually... name, but my, my brain is just like, lol, you don't know anything right now, idiot. Oh, god, he's tangentially related to, um... You can just look it, it up! No, I need to, oh. I need to think about this. He's, like, tangentially Who's related to One second, I'll be right guy... back, chat. Okay. He's tangentially related to the guy from, like, not in, like, actual blood relation or marriage, but, like, uh, he is, like, associated with American Psycho. It's not Huey Lewis. I can't think of this dude's name. I don't want to Google it. My pride will be ruined. Shit. Um... Alright, Vegeta, calm down. <laughs> literally. Um, <laughs> there was a time in my life. God, where I, I, I know, I, I know his name because it's like I have to. Because like I make the joke, but I associate him mentally with Vegeta, but I can't remember the damn. Phil Collins. There it is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he did a really good song called "I Don't Care Anymore." That was in GTA Five. It's a really good song. That's all. Maybe I can feel it coming in the air. Oh lord. Oh, lord. So we're about to we're about to piss off a T Rex in about like ten seconds. So get hype. But I remember, I remember, don't worry. By the way, the music in this game just genuinely slaps. I love the music in Ape Escape. Ape Escape music is fucking nuts. It's goaded! Hey, it's kind uh, of crazy fish. how good it is, yo. Have you, have you seen the fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh... Like, or no, it's the video of the stupid yellow pufferfish swinging around in a fucking toilet, not toilet bowl, a fishbowl singing a song. Yeah. Is it a fishbowl yeah, okay. or is it out in the ocean? Uh, no, it looks like a fishbowl because it's like a circular, it might just be a bubble. Yeah, look but, at this uh, dude! Just T-Rex! What's up, buddy? Don't be on the floor, use the Commodore! Look at this big-ass Yoshi. Look at how mad he is. Oh, he's roaring oh, sorry, at me! I'm sorry, wrong, I don't care. I, I, uh, I, my I favorite mean, console, the Commodore. The Amiga? Yeah, it's a pretty cool computer. Co fun fact, Commodore made the Commodore 64 and the Amiga. You don't throw stuff they were, they, they were... Also, they were PCs, not consoles. They were computers. Full-fledged computers. Finally, the Comp 64. Sorry, I'm thinking about that stupid fucking. <laughs> You're a computer. Yeah, stop all the downloading! I'm a computer, stop all the downloads! Stop fucking downloading Cursed Doom 2 wads onto my hard drive! No, but I love to, though. Why do you keep downloading ones that look like. That I will just... download all of the all of the legitimate uh, video games onto your hard drive. That I'm fu it's just the weird Doom Two, including Donkey Kong Beyond Time and Space. Yeah, okay, but you you also download this one called H Doom. I don't know what that is. Well, who now? You downloaded one called H Doom. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Can you please explain in thorough detail? 
The fact that you brought it up I'm, in the I'm first place, you have to, you, 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 have to, you have to shoulder that by yourself. I'm, 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 I'm bowing out of that one. You're on your own. You're not roping me into this shit. You've got another goddamn thing coming. Listen, the Cyber Demon can get it, though. I have no opinions. And this is probably like one of my favorite um, items in the game, the monkey radar. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Also, I know people laugh a lot at Jane Smith. Uh, you've heard of ZDM, right? It's like not. Oh, don't even say that, because someone's gonna actually like download it now. <laughs> oh, I thought you. Uh, I thought you pieced out. Actually, hi Jonesy. I thought you actually. Left. Jonesy comes in to be the funniest person on the planet, and then leaves again. Tragic. Truly, the Jonesy way of existence, and I can kind of respect it. Where the fuck? Oh. oh, wait, was that it? Hmm. Uh, I guess they didn't get my ginger ale. Oh, well, that's fine. Where's my water bottle? Uh, we're going all right. We're, uh, you know, four levels deep already. Speed run. So they're unaware of you. Often makes it easier to catch them. I had to take a five second break to grab some you'll food. Probably be harder for them to spot when you hit the ground or stay motionless as opposed to when you're oh, the water bottle barrier. on the floor. Look advice now go get him, Spike. Now go get him, Spike. <laughs> Spike is such a, 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 a name for a protagonist of a game like this. Oh, hey, we're getting more lore. So, how are my little lab rats doing? Oh, hell yes. The only monkey who gets to speak in this game. It's Phil Spector, the guy who produced the Beatles. Isn't that the guy behind, uh, what's it called? Isn't Phil Spector the guy behind, uh, uh, what's the name of that game? Uh, uh, Xbox, yeah, Microsoft. That's Phil Fish, idiot. No, wow. That's <laughs> Right. I'm sorry, but this is my favorite fucking joke ever, is to correct someone with the wrong information yeah, and just yeah, I love that. shit on them for it. It's my favorite bit ever. So yeah, the peak point helmet is those things all the monkeys wear, those little flashing things. That apparently uh, lets monkeys have, like, higher intelligence. So, like, Phil Spector, by the way, uh, if you don't know, was, um... What's it called? Um, he was like a notable record producer, essentially, for the Ramones, for the Beatles, etc. And he he spent the last years of his life in jail because he fucking killed someone! Mm. Wow. Have you seen h -Doom? No, because I'm normal, but I sure as hell know what it is. Also, like... In case you were wondering, uh, Spectre here is voiced by the one and only D. Bradley Baker. God bless. I remember I first saw Ape Escape before anything, uh, watching, um, the Fox Box and seeing, like, um, clips, like, little shorts. And I remember I saw, like, a couple of them on there, but, like... I don't- I didn't remember it until, like, a little while later. Jake! Uh... Jake from State Farm! Yep, and he's- he, no, he's- he's Ty from Digimon. No, is this the guy who has, like, that- like, has, like, Cyber Dramon. What's his name? Uh... You don't. You, you, are you listening to the stream's audio? Because that's at, li, like what I'm saying. That oh, that's just his voice actor. That's literally Joshua Seth. Oh my god. Okay, no. Remind me though. Uh, what's the name of the guy who uses Cyber German in Adventures uh, Two? Rio. You mean yeah. you mean Tamers? Well, he is from Tamers, Adventures Two, yes. but yeah. That, yeah. From both, anyways. Um, when I watched Adventure Two and Tamers, uh, my ex fucking hated Rio. Like, with a passion. He's, he's just a guy. My only he's real gripe like is that, 16. like, where does he even come from? I think he's only, like, 14. He's like a kid. Yeah. My, my ex was kind of weird. <laughs> There's a bunch of monkeys in here. Yeah, what is he on 
We always have 14 in Tamers. Also, like, I like you say I haven't seen HD because I'm normal, but you're like, I don't know about... Uh, 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 you already have an opinion on one of the girls in there. No, I meant Cybertrumon in Vanilla Doom! Ah, <laughs> uh, Cyber Demon! Oh, okay. They're very similar words that I've been using both, oh, okay. like, in the past five seconds. Okay, okay. Shut the my fuck. Bad. I got confused myself. Listen... When, I don't know if you know this, I'm not a clever person. Also, we have a new monkey uh, sure. plant color. They're light sure. blue ones. Shut They're up. just a little bit uh, meeker. Is the Cyber Demon a MILF in Vanilla Doom? Yes. In H Doom, I have no idea. I'm this gonna is, find these out. Are, these are words being said. I what typed I in Cyber Demon again! Lamau. Hmm. Streamer killed by bees. Hmm. No, I'm fine. I'll be alive. They just make her animate. That's boring. Of course they do. Yeah, that sucks. The thing about the like spider mess I can see. Yeah, games, true. Like, always cowards. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to like make the people we you know deserve and need. What about the Thanks lady who her. turns into the Spider Mastermind in uh, 2016? Which I have to stream again. I want the VOD of that. Sorry, I'm... <clears throat> one quick second. I'm, I'm currently reading uh, a post from the Anchorage People Mover in Alaska. Their public transport option. Move over, Stop Easter Bunny. There's a new mascot in town. Say hello to the Easter Bussy. And they're not hiding anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, alright. Before I say anything, I have to say this right now on the record. This has happened so many times, you know someone's doing it intentionally. Yeah, there is honestly. No way. There is no way this is an accident anymore. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Speaking of poorly named- No, I'm not bringing that up here. Uh oh, are we gonna pretend with the other poorly named uh, transport system? No, I was gonna talk about the poorly named bike from recent times, but oh, let's leave that, that like, on that, the that, cutting room floor and not bring it up. Did, uh, no, I want to bring this up just a little bit. That's someone that like abbreviates into like a transphobic slur, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use like my powers here as a trans and say I find that look kind of funny. <laughs> Hey, like, just a little bit. I, I don't have, you know, a horse in this race. I only saw it. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry? Like, I, I, <laughs> Wait, I, I, will, I will use my powers and say, I personally find it really funny. Like, like under you would not believe the whiplash I got opening up Twitter, looking at trending and seeing that, and my eyes bulging out of my skull. Like, what? I was pissed. Yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. Ooh. I'm so sorry. Oh god, I'm sorry. Ugh, god. To, to be fair, I've also been called that. I'm sorry to both of you, that's fucking gross. It's... It, it, and like... I don't know. Slurs are weird. I, 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 I want to revoke that person with, from their kneecaps. Oh, don't worry. Like, here's the thing when it comes to slur reclamation. I can't get this monkey yet. I ain't to wait. Um, yeah. The thing about slur reclamation is that, like, it always it should only be on, like, a case-by-case a, a -case basis. And, like, some slurs should not be, re like, reclaimed. No, you're right. 100%. Like, as someone who's, like, was born into one, like, let me tell you. Slurs aren't fun. <laughs> yeah. They're not fun. Just speaking from the heart, right here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, this area is actually really sick. I can't wait to show off what, one of my favorite things about this area, because it's sick. Ugh. Yeah, that, that, that's, 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 that's how- That's, that's school, how, baby! <laughs> that's school, that's just growing up. That's being around other kids who don't know any better either. Let's be around other people. In a lot of ways, unfortunately. And that's being online. It's 
Speak online and in person, depending on where you are. Oh man. Huh. Also, I wanna I wanna talk about this one fucking meme format I wish would absolutely die, and that's the uh not only because it includes my least favorite meme format of Nordic Chad, which is Yeah, fucking... that, that like I'm I'm sick of it too, personally. I, I I'm sick of this man. But also it's the boys versus girls meme format. It needs to fucking oh, yeah. die. Yeah, lol, like the mouth. Uh yeah, he didn't even crank the Titanic. Does he even have a motion? D dude, crying at crying like in at Titanic is not a universal experience. Shut the fuck up, A. Also, look at these really good the, uh people rolling, don't talk uh, like this. Graphics. Very fun. Um <laughs> very good. See, this is not past the best elk test. I think it's the I think it's pronounced Bechtel, but I don't know. Is it Bechtel? I think. It's oh Bechtel. god, I've been pronouncing I've been pronouncing it like Bechamel my whole life. <laughs> Bechamel. Bechamel. Hey, who? <laughs> Hold on, I, 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 I'm uh, joke incoming. <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> joke incoming. Uh. Let's see, which way am I going? I think I need to go... Yeah, okay. Wait. To at least agree that, like, people who enjoy barks are, like... Mm. Let's How say you come this? across an evil tree! Get in there, bro. <laughs> you may find yourself in front of an evil tree! So yeah, this tree is just a, is just a mecha, don't worry about it. Shut up! It's Mokujin from Tekken! It really is. Who though. knows what moves he will use? Uh, I'm gonna guess he'll just slam the floor a little, uh, a bunch, and just be angry. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. Uh, what uh, was this, this is, this is made uh, way easier with a later gadget, but you can do this right now. Oh yeah, Bart and Dre are just the spy from Team Fortress 2. Do not trust them. Um, when it come to, when it came to me, like in high school with slurs, being like. The solo black person in like a brony chat was not a good way for me to be at 14. That's all. Dear I'm going to God. Say. That's all I'm going to say. I am so and sorry. It got worse when I when I thought, hey, maybe I. What what's all the hubbub about gender? You know, that then it just got even worse. That's weird that I also like to kind of discover gender like that was like uh. Hey, what's up with all the hubbub about gender? Well, that's only because, like, another thing was just, like, there was a, um... There was a trans woman I was in contact with in the fandom as well. Like, as a part of that same group. And... That's really, I kind no, of I think... Gradually began to understand more and more stuff. I, I know I actually probably said a lot of insensitive shit, but not, like, you know, mean-spirited, right? I just was kind of just confused. Yeah, like, uh, oh, yeah, of a course. A teenager. Welcome back. Um, but yeah, that was, that was a time and a half. The Brony fandom is, Bad. was, and still is likely a cesspool. Also, oh, um... Edge of time? No. That's the thing that's nice level. The fishing fandom was also a cesspool. I love it described as the fishing fandom. What would you describe it as? Um, a collective. Community? No, that will play some degree of leftist organization. Also, something else about the monkey uh, radar is that, like, if you lock onto one, you get to see what they look like. You get to see a lot of their stats and power. I'm sitting upright, and I have just hydrated. I'll do it again. Let me do it again. Big swig moments! In 25 years, Pixar went from what if inanimate objects had feelings to what if Buzz Lightyear was real and also a Republican. <laughs> Man. Yeah, it's true. I, I love this, uh... I love this, uh, new movie that Disney's putting out that's apparently, uh, all about, uh, that one guy from Family Guy. God. <sighs> See, the funny thing is, I could be talking about two guys. You really could be. This gives a lot of backtracking in it when you get like all the gadgets. You get a lot of neat gadgets in this game. 
Do you get to inspect them? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this is one of the games I just love to play. I didn't have a lot of PSP games growing up, but uh, this is one of them that I just have still loved even to this day. It's a very fun game, you know, very cozy. What's better than this? Yeah. Guy is escaping apes. What? That's not how this game works. I'm so sad that, like, these games, games are just, like, straight up, like, gone now. Yeah. I think the studio associated with them is just straight up, like, defunct. God, <laughs> actually, I, I'm very much in the same boat about my childhood comfort game mm -hmm. series. And that's the Pipeworks Godzilla games. Uh, God, I missed them. See, the games were so good. But... I mean, it wasn't good, but it was fun. Didn't all, like, the uh, in-house Sony studios just, like, close down or something? Is that what happened? I don't know when well, no, Somniac's still around. Well, and I think SCA like, is just so it publisher like, yeah. now. Like, uh, Universal Games or whatever. Universal Vivendi? Are they, yeah, are they part of, uh, Act Blizz? Alright, so here's the ones that are still around. Sucker Punch is still around. Uh-huh. Uh, Valkyrie is still around. Still kicking. Uh, they did God of War. Mm hmm Uh, or they did work on God of War. Well, uh, speaking of, like, Sucker Punch, remember I actually really wanted to see that movie, and then I forgot that I wanted to see it? And from what I've learned, apparently that's for the best. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like, there's movies I've just really wanted to see. I just, like, forgot that I wanted to see them. Like, I, like there was, like, I wanted to see Scott Pilgrim. Then I had something happen, and I forgot about it. Then I was, like, going, like, out of town with my mother when I was younger. And I'm like, I want to see Dragon Ball Evolution. And I forgot about that. For the better. Men in yeah. this bed. Uh, Naughty Dog's still around. Mm -hmm. So, that's them. But I think and everyone else... Naughty Dog is, uh... Ugh, contentious, mm. to say the least. Did you... I gotta talk about the ending of Mar Miles... Mar Miles Man Spider Morales? That's yeah. not what that game was called. Uh, you know what? No, I won't. I won't, actually. It's genuinely awful. Really? It is a fun game, but the story is dog shit. You hate to hear that. So, uh, the plot follows um, a new company. Ouch. Uh, I, almost, I, I almost said Nexon. Oh, it's Roxon, yeah. Yeah, Roxon. Thank you. Is Roxon, that a thing in the Roxon. comics? Yes, Roxon is a big okay. thing in the comics. There are, um... They're like Miles, they're, they're, they, they, they basically, I think, made the... Uh, oh, hey, look. I always saw these guys as Geodude. So they are just Geodude on fire. Also, they explode. Ah, uh, I love this, uh, Hisui and Geodude. <laughs> you game. know what? If California gets a region, we should get these. I don't know why, but we should. Are these oh, guys see are, what? Uh... Viv, you know what these are? These are Geodudes fucking crossed with flaming Hot Cheeto Asteroids. <laughs> I miss Asteroids. I miss 3D Doritos. Viv, go... they still make Asteroids! Oh, let's go. Bring back you gotta Doritos, find them. Though. They do. They do, Viv. Bring back Doritos. <laughs> Goalposts. Bring back DNL. They should bring back DNL. I never got to try it. They uh, started remaking them. Uh, they're in my gas station, like, intermittently. Oh. So I think they might be regional. I will look it up later. They that make was them really close. In, uh, I, I'm surprised they managed to get that so easily because th that's a really hard monkey to get. From, I don't remember having a hard time getting when I was younger. Um, they make what's it called? Fuck. The they make the asteroids in the flavors um, Cheeto, uh, just regular Cheetos, jalapeno cheddar, and flaming hot. They need to bring back Yogos. Fuck yeah, they do. <laughs> They need to bring back all the old fruit gusher slurs that have disappeared over the years. They need to bring back, like, those, uh, those sick, uh, double-layered, uh, nerds, too. Those were sick. Those things were fucked up in the best way. I yeah, Grips, grip too. yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like, what's the name of that, like, really tiny snack food? Yeah, Grips. Yeah, Grips are amazing. They need to bring back uh, those, like, um, those, like, little jello, like, like, uh, candy snacks that were, like, um... In a little pocket. Yes! Oh my god. Okay, so, right. Circling back to Miles Morales. Yeah, I do um, too. I do too. 
Were there I, ever I good missed... Lunchables, though? Yeah, they had Chicken Nugget Lunchables. You know what? I can't hate that. You're right. They had pre-made chicken nuggets. You got, like, instead of barbecue sauce, you got barbecue seasoning and a pouch to shake them in. That's actually hype. It's so hype. Death! Anyways, um, the ending of- or not the ending, but the- That's what main... I get for talking shit about Lunchables. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, Miles Morales, anyways, um, the main plot is that Rockstar is producing a new kind of alternative energy called New Form. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, turns out, uh-oh, gives people super cancer. Okay, so, um, Miles has a friend who was not mentioned in the first game, but comes in this game. I forget her name. Uh, already, because she was not used well in the story at all. Basically, she's the tinkerer. Women used yeah. well in stories? In in my video games? It's less like a new thing. Uh, her brother facilitated her and Miles' like interest in STEM in this story and universe. Mm -hmm. And uh he dies because he tries to shut down the new form reactor and the uh the rocks on CEO seals him in there. Yeah. So she becomes a tinkerer and uh joins up with an underground gang called uh I think they're just called the Underground. <laughs> and uh it's it's the whole story's a big misunderstanding because Miles finds that uh, they've been supercharging this new reactor, so if she goes through her plan to bro bro blow up Roxxon Plaza uh, with the new form reactor, it'll blow up all of Harlem, but she won't believe him because he lied to her to join the underground uh, to spy as Miles. They both find each other's secret identities throughout the course of the game, and then uh, she fucking dies. The height of writing. Uh, also, uh, um, Aaron is in this game, uh, uh, you know, Uncle Aaron. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As the Prowler, and he sells them out to fucking Roxxon. Oh, dope. Like, I know he's a villain in the comics, and, like, I think he comes back and he's, like, way less of one. And they, actually, it's probably, the things with Uncle Aaron are the best thing in the game, actually. Because you go around collecting sounds of New York City to build an audio key sample, and you get a cool suit that looks like the Prowler suit. That's tight. It is. Uh, the gameplay is once again the best thing about this game. It's just like Spider-Man 1. The story is like secondary. Uh, speaking of but like... The, the, the real crime to me is that the underground is like, oh, we are like eco-terrorists in Minecraft. And like, they're entirely justified despite the fact that this, that A, they're like, they do other criminal stuff and, and B, Oh, it's all a big misunderstanding, even though, like, the Rockstar like, guy is evil and does deserve to die. I, I profoundly, I think I disagree with, like, eco-terrorism as, like, a... I don't know, there's, like, a lot of things I disagree with. But I feel like, um... Oh, I might be just eco facts and I disagree with. What am, I, what am I trying to say here? Brain lost. But yeah, I've been noticing there's been a lot of just, like, sentiment where it's <coughs> like, alright, you have well-intentioned individuals who are, you know, on paper right, but they do one thing, and now they're evil. And they evil. deserve to die. Yeah, I love, uh, I love the way Spider-Man is going now. Don't so, you remember yeah, the... Spider-Man Homecoming? Don't you yeah. remember Black Panther? Yeah, what's even more fucked up is that in this fucking movie, or in this game, the way she dies is that Miles absorbed, he uses his venom power to absorb the energy from the new form reactor as it's, like, going critical. Cool touch. I really like that scene. It's me. Mm. But... She decides, this is where I make my sacrifice, instead of, like, using her jet boots to, like, help, like, everyone get away from this incoming explosion. She's like, oh yeah, let me grab Miles and, uh, just rocket him up into literal, like, near-Earth orbit. Yeah, that's I'm not, yeah, I'm not joking, this is something she feels like she needs to do, to atone for her... <sighs> This game sucks! It's bad! The story is awful. It's fun playing as Miles, it's fun doing cool Spider-Man stuff. But Christ, the writing is like... Video worse game than the writing comics. has been like very much a bizarre thing where like the gameplay is looked at as being more important than anything else. And that's a mistake. Yes. That is a death. Especially for Spider-Man. Like, in general, like, it's a mistake, but, like, especially for a Spider-Man game. Yeah. Like, or just any Spider-Man media, it has to have a good story. Mm hmm No, I mean, to be fair, there was that one story where he killed Mary Jane with his, uh... 
No, I mean, that, but that comic is widely derided, is it not? Yeah, it's true. I'm just saying it exists. That's more what I'm poking fun at than anything else. It exists, but, like, that is not, like, widely beloved. Also, what yeah, I got a new thing, gadget. What makes, what makes good things good is the fact that, like, they have good writing. And that's really, like, just fucking write good stories. That's all I'm getting at. It literally makes things, like, 35% more tolerable. Yeah, but, you know, that implies good writers are even left or that they're hiring them. <sighs> You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm mad about storytelling. Nah, I get you. Also, we have a new gadget, the slingback shooter. We can snipe with it. Now a lot of areas are not accessible to us. Um. Yeah, it's true. I feel like uh, you know. <clears throat> the Billcraft mod really has improved over these past few years. Hey, listen, they took their know. entire concept from like, oh, we want to do like oil and stuff to like, hey, just sabotage it. It's fun. Like, and honestly, destruction mechanics are a lot more fun. EIM, I feel like I was just me misunderstanding things and kind of just correlating things that aren't exactly directly correlated, and that's on me rather than it being like bad. I feel like it's okay. So, sometimes you misunderstand because you have funny, funny brain thing that makes you misunderstand things. Like, here's the thing, Viv. No one can remember every single fucking thing about like politics at all like and i this is just true yeah especially when it like you know changes all the time exactly that's like that's like like claiming to know everything about history that's just incorrect mm. do you know what happened literally two seconds ago like no i don't not. exactly but that's that's also because my brain is literally made of uh cabbage and old uh old old math homework from 20 uh 2005 Yeah. Slingback Shooter is really good. Also, like, these gadgets have good names. Like, Slingback Shooter is a good name. I like that. Yeah. Uh, the ammo you get in this game is also really good. Like, the explosive and the rocket ammo are, like, really, really fun to use. Because the uh, explosive ammo just does more damage, and the rocket ammo, like, targets certain things. It's, it's, it's a very, very fun gadget. These guys are neat. If you let them do that, you can just do that. <laughs> I feel like more mecha should like look like crustaceans. And I can gun them. Yeah. I've been playing. I guess... Like I, I, I need, I, uh, I need to watch more like Gundam. Like I've been playing a lot more Super Robot Wars. I've gotten past this mission I was stuck at for a little bit. Uh, that I game is still really good. Think it could be cooler. If you like tactical RPGs, I recommend it. Fun games. More things should like look more like arthropods in general, I, do have I to think. Just, I have to say, though, if depending on which ones you play, you might get certain characters from franchises that might not be great. Am I implying that uh, Ava is in Zero Rebel Wars? Yes, I'm outright saying it. Yeah, I just already said it, damn. Get smoked. I'm not actually trying to aim at him, I'm trying to aim at that, but I, I hit the poor guy twice. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> but I also have to send you back in time. You did just own him, though, and it was yeah. kind of funny. Why is it an important ape escape where he's sent to, like, Henry VIII-era Europe, and you have to stop an ape from, like, executing one of Henry VIII's wives? Well, you see, Gwen. <laughs> yes. I'm not gonna spoil anything. Are you fucking gay? <laughs> Wait and see. Oh, this Wait is gonna be good. Did I, just I am gonna lower your uh, expectations a little bit. We aren't actually gonna stop uh, an assassination, but that is unfortunate. That'd be the but best. The rest of that does happen. We get to see the we get to see Henry VIII. Oh, that's fantastic. Henry VIII, yeah, we get to see him. That's great. <laughs> Imagine if this game was Fun written like Monkey it. Island oh, and man. like. Or like any like adventure game from the nineties, God, I would lose it. <laughs> like all the gameplay is the same, but it has the witticisms of like Lucas Arts adventure games. Yeah. 
Or like Banjo Kazooie. Oh, yeah, that'd actually be really fun. There's there's a lot of like little jokes here and there, but they're not like you know. Super, Rare doesn't always make fun. the best games, but they are funny. Mm -hmm. Like Sea of Thieves, like just beyond its gameplay loop, is just a funny game. Sea of Thieves nuts can fit in your mouth. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I have I have defeated Gwen. Murder yeah, her. I've been I've been absolutely destroyed. Yeah, yeah, real, honestly. I want more games like Delta Rim. Honestly, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I I I'd love just more games that are just you know really really good from the start to finish. Aren't ruin my microtransactions? Are shorter and they make people who are paid to just take breaks. Yeah. Like you know what? I want every game company to be run like uh, Super Giant. I did inspire one of my developer friends to like uh, make a game though recently, and I feel like uh, this is as close to making a game as I'll ever get. I have to work more on, like, developing my game, but I've been busy I don't want to say anything, things. because I don't know how much I can talk about. Like, it's not, like, a serious, like, developer thing. It's a one-man... PS1 like, one Poly thing. is good. I also really like, like, N64 Poly. Look, okay, let me also hit you with, uh, let me hit you with Nintendo DS Poly. Mm, but that's also, it's... like, N64 Poly. Yeah, but it's smaller, so it looks better. Yeah, it's true. But, like, then... I know I've brought it up already once, but let me let me tell you something real quick. Okay, okay, let me yeah. rephrase that. Pokemon Gen 5 Sprite Art. Yeah, the N64, like, Ava game actually looks really nice. God, it is, like, so perfectly, like, not only does the 90s-ness of it being a low-poly early 3D game help, it just, like, it's genuinely, like, one of the best-looking games of the console. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I don't think games should have ever improved past Shadow of the Colossus. Like, I don't of, think like, games graphics. needed to be, like, the most high-fidelity graphical shit Look at Mega Look place. at Mega Gear 2 and 3! Those guys, those guys look fucking great! You know, even MGS 1 looks really good still. Like, the, the, the thing is, is that, like... The, the, the problem charming. with, like, high-end graphics is that, like, at a point, you're just, like, you know... You're, you're, it's, it's a race to the bottom, because... You can only make things improve graphically so much. And a game that looked amazing like a year ago that was graphically impressive, like the highest fidelity of the time, is going to look like shit by the start of the next generation. No, I will say gaming in the early 2010s is a time period that is like quite well deservedly maligned. It's 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 the but... point in which I feel like that game companies were getting more and more egregious and just bold with their monetization models and i feel like it yes that's what it is hey, but back. also it is it is kind of like the golden age and like very beginning roots of indie games mm -hmm. and like a lot of those games kind of suck shit but like they also helped inform like so many developers later yeah like, like I, there, there was a lot of like like, there was still a lot okay, of you know, good early indie I, stuff, even in that mm. paradigm. Because you got, like, even before that, you had Cave Story, and Cave Story is an amazing yeah. game. That's from, like, the, I don't, like, single-digit, like, 2000s. That was, like, PS2 homebrew at some stage. I think it's shit's been poured onto everything at this point. Yeah. It's, like, Doom now. Mm -hmm. But, um, what I was getting at is that, like, I hate to give this game any more undue credit it, it needs, but I really do think part of, like... The, the resurgence of these simpler looking games, not only are NES nostalgia, but like, uh, s like simple, like made games like Minecraft, like really did help make you realize, hey, you know what? This is a low poly and it looks great. Yeah, like I, I, it's a lot of that. And also I feel like to not give, you know, not any credit, uh, I feel like it's also a lot of it being, like, you know, the Mega Man 9 and 10 style stuff, too. That was a bit... I think it was a bit before that, right? Around the same time -ish. Yeah, 9 and 10 and Minecraft, like, really pretty much concurrently, I think. Yeah. Very, very close to each other. I wonder what that says underneath Spike right there, that picture of Spike. I wish games still looks like, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, God. Like DKC or, um, 
Oh, like that guess, rendered stuff. Yes, but also kind of like, and I totally forgot what it was now. Shit. It was like a DS era sprite game. It's not. It's not pre-rendered at all. It's totally unrelated. Um, you know what? I miss. I miss the sprite work from like the what's it called era. The like classic Capcom classic SNK like Third Strike or like Garo that kind of sh oh that shit's so good like 13 was beautiful and it was so like high intensity the like level of graphics they uh put into it almost yeah. bankrupted the company god also Symphony of the Night looks fucking beautiful for real that game is incredible it's impeccable immaculate I would recommend, like, uh, like, if you are going to start playing Metroidvania, uh, play Hollow Knight first. It's really good, I promise. Uh, play Hollow Knight, play, uh... For Dan, immediately play Sinti of the Night. I don't care. Like, after Hollow Knight, the vibes, like... Imagine the vibes of going from Hollow Knight to Sinti of the Night. That's like, mmm, mmm, chef's kiss. That's yeah, gothic, baby. Basically immaculate. That's gothic. <laughs> I gotta catch up to Jake here. Did you just speed boost using fucking lava? Well, I'm behind him, so... Not really. That rules. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm playing Mario 64. It's literally the exact same, like, balance as Mario 64, I think. Wow, smooth with groove sounding motherfucker over here. Uh, I have to play more of the Dracula X remake. I tried it, like, out a while ago before I played, like, you know, uh, Bloodstain and stuff like that. So I wouldn't mind giving it another shot. I didn't like it at first, but I could probably get over it. Yeah. So let's go. Also, people Nailed talk about, it. like, oh, Dark, so Dark Souls lore this, Dark Souls lore that. Can we talk about Hollow Knight lore? What the fuck? Hollow Knight lore is fucked. It's so cool, though. Yeah. We live in a bug society. Mm -hmm. Also, these screens remind me so much of, like, Crash 2. Like, yeah, where you get the bit. floating head screens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, exactly like that. Um, like... God, what am I trying to say here? Like, uh, Hollow Knight lore is so fucked. Like, Castlevania lore is also, like, really fucked up, too. And it's really funny. Just yeah. About like, imagine just having beef with, like, one guy across, like, the entire length of forever. And, like, having these guys hunt you down. That's literally so funny. Just think about it. I wonder if Dracula Wait. ever, like, laughed about it, right? Like, mm, Viv, I, which came out first, Castlevania or JoJo Part 1? Castlevania. Are you sure about this? I am 90 percent Yeah, I think Jojo was like 88. Uh, yeah, Castlevania was 86. What about in Japan? Yeah, 86, okay. Uh, Jojo was 87. 80s God! What a time! People were just loving Dracula. Mm-hmm, people were just loving vamps. What was happening in the 80s to... to like... What? You know what? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Bisexuality. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I mean, it, uh, it was sort of also the birth of, like, uh, people going back to old horror movies and loving them as via, like, VHS stuff and, like, TV mm -hmm. movie marathons of horror movies, like Monster Mad. Not, what's it called? Yeah, and then you had a lot of Monster Mad at the whatever. same time, you know? Yeah, that's true. God, schlock can be so good, but also so fucking bad. Yep, such is life, the epitome of the vertical slice. Okay, what the fuck? You know what else was in 1987? Fucking Monster Squad! Yeah. Like, so, yeah, what is it with Dracula? So this is like He's the everywhere. weird age we're just in now. We're going through different time periods. I, I'm like 90% sure I could probably just like get through most Man, of this game we're, in this we're, one we're, second alone. We're in the 80s. It's the age of Dracula, baby. Oh, wait, no, I want this. The Super is actually pretty good. Speedrun tech oh, acquired. Look at me schmoove. Dave, who's your like, favorite like universal horror monster? Um, God, that's a good question. You know the list, I think. Like the Mummy, uh, Dracula, Frankenstein. Uh, I guess classic horror icons. Well, like the uh, Wolfman. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you this straight up. As yeah. a, uh, as a, uh, uh, as a known, <laughs> as a as a known dope appreciator, I gotta go for the Mummy. <laughs> Brian Frankenstein is right there. You know what? You're right. The mummy is funnier. 
Yeah, I guess I guess there are moral implications with Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, listen, I'm not here to be a home wrecker. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even talking about that. She's also sewn together dead people. Like, when you want to mac on an AI that has a dead woman in it, like you have all people. That is a. I never considered that genuinely. <laughs> That's I knew so she was that funny. Thing that didn't register at all. That's <laughs> such a funny thing to say. Like, honestly though, it's true. Like, I never thought of the implications of that until just now. I just went, ha ha, woman. Gladys and Justice Guilty Gear. The same <laughs> Gladys and Bride of Franken started the exact same character. Gladys is just the American Ava Unit no, 1. I, I'm saying that Gladys is, uh... Gladys and uh, Justice are the same, because I think it's really funny. I would love to see like a humanoid Gladys. Not because I think it'd be funny, but I want it to be exactly like Justice, and all that that implies. But also, I want it to be like AV and I want it everything that implies. No, but Gwen, look at a picture of Justice Guilty Gear for me real quick, and notice something very prominent about her design. Okay, but I, I, I need you to imagine Ava Unit 1, but like she can talk like Gladys and has like the very same personality. That would be hysterical, I think. But... It would make Ava Gillian five times better. Please, In fact, sir. it would just make the plot make sense, like just be for, better. It's like, for a don't moment. listen to this dude, what the fuck? Please, please, have you looked at Justice Guilty Gear right now? Is that what you're saying? What the fuck? No, no, it's just like, I'm imagining like, uh... Yui, like, being able to speak and just going, like, what the fuck is up with this dude? Oh my god, just imagine, like, Yui inside of Ava Unit 1 I am divorcing with, you like, so hard. Lattice's voice and just, like, talking shit to him. That would I, be I, I so see funny. So, like, is, okay, is just just the same thing going on as Gladys? Kind of, but please. You're looking at a picture of her right now, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I mean when I said all that that implies. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's well protected. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woman who got the tripod surgery. <laughs> uh, we're- we're really mature on this stream today. Got him! <laughs> But, uh, I guess to going back to the topic, I've always, I've always really liked Dracula. I saw the first Dracula when I was younger, like, I think it was like 10. Dracula is pretty really good, it. I have to say. He's I, also, think, like, I think he has at a some really point, fun we voice need to, to have, impersonate. Like, we need to have, like, the perfect one-to-one -one with, like, a Dracula, but it's, like, Carmilla. Yeah. That's what we need. We need homoerotic Dracula. We really do. Uh... I mean, to be oh, fair, I already have I guess... it. His name's Nagoriyuki, but that's beside the point. Yeah. I, I do gotta say, though, I love um... So much. Anyway. Sorry. The thing about Dracula is that he has a really funny voice to impersonate, but the funniest thing anyone could ever say in Dracula voice has already been found out. Yeah, I want to smoke- I like to smoke the weed! Not the one I was going for, but yeah. What were you going for? <laughs> I want to suck your cock! That's also pretty good. We have maxed the enjoyableness of Dracula jokes. Mm -hmm. You know what? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I, I have it. Are you ready? Are you ready for this take? Are you ready for my brain yeah. to like explode and be the biggest you've ever seen before or since? Yeah. yeah Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Carmilla, but her vampirism is both. Like you know, it's 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 both a gender transer and a lesbian affair. Yeah, okay. This is this is this is this is my this is my new hill I'm standing on. God, speaking of uh hot vampires girls though, um can we talk about I don't I don't wanna be a home wrecker. But but the mom from the Adams family? Is she a vampire? I think she's just vibing. Well she she sounds <laughs> she sounds like a vampire she has a vampire accent. Yeah, I By believe I, I would definitely voice. believe they're from Transylvania. God, have, do you know about the, uh, the Adam Family musical, musical? You know about my- I don't actually, but you know about my favorite Adam Family fact? Uh, that it was all incredibly bright. Yes, because it yes, black yes, white. yes. The entire yes, house it is was the pink. the best thing in the world. It's awesome. Oh, not 
fucking no stop! God, if Ape Escape like came back as NFTs, I think I would actually like <laughs> die in. Life. I would, I would, I would like actually cry. Don't... Oh, look at that pop in! You see that? Yeah. There's a... <laughs> um, there's. Now watch, chat, as I make a dude disappear before your eyes. Yo, so oh! <laughs> how does how do they do that? <laughs> they can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm so musical has one of the best songs ever, uh, called Let's Not Talk About Anything Else But Love. In which, um I forget what characters it is, help a new character who is like established as like the comic straight man to like all of the Adam's family wackiness mm -hmm. gets like, gets taught about, um, love by, um, ugh, fuck, I need to look at the cast list for the song again. But it's really good, because it's also the dad, I think, and they have, like, such a perfect relationship. Uh, uh, I, I forget their names. Um, uh, I think his name's Gomez? Yeah, Gomez is the dad. Gomez and the mother Morticia. is... And yes, yeah, they have such a genuinely perfect relationship, it makes so much sense yeah. that they're singing this song. Because they're goth. Also, like, I saw, like, I think one of my favorite takes on Gomez and Morticia, and that's that they're just butch lesbians, and I'm like, yeah. 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 Also, also, Fester comes in, and Fester's voice in the musical is... How do I put this? Camp gay. Oh, my AoE is gone? No. So, so... I haven't. Um, <laughs> so, I, you I, just I, hear the little song. I live Did I a, just hear the word love? And it's like, live, oh my god. I live in a, uh, an insulated fantasy world where I forget that NFTs exist. Also, I really think that, um... Yeah, every Adams is trans. The Adams family is the most gay and trans family to ever exist. For real. It's, it's the gothness plus the genuine love and care for other people plus mm -hmm. kind of being done with bullshit. In also, general, like, I have to say this straight up. I have to say this straight up. Morticia and Wednesday are very trans names. Incredibly. Like. But truly, the. If you're ready for the callback of the century right now. Yeah, here it goes. Here it goes. The callback worst trans jokes. name. The callback worst Tuesday. trans name is Little Tuesday. Okay, okay, alright. What's this bit now? This was, <laughs> this was in SR388 back in the day, where I joked about having a rap career at one stage. Oh, God. <laughs> I legit forgot about that. Lil Tuesday was the name. You know, I'm surprised it wasn't anything weed-based. This was pre-weed. Little Tuesday, Little Tuesday does sound like a, a, a rapper who just lives across the pond. Yeah, Little Tuesday. <laughs> oh my god, fucking, I'm the best rapper ever in New Glockenspiel. <laughs> it's Little Tuesday! <laughs> oh god. Honestly, this is this is the end goal, the end game of Little Tuesday. It's just the best bit we've ever made. <laughs> yep, this, this, this is this is it. This is the longest, this is the biggest con. This is the character arc that we needed. <laughs> the brick joke to end all brick jokes. The, I hate to quote it, but the struggle of stupidity truly is complete. <laughs> Stop it. How dare you? I'm sorry, it's in my it's genuinely in a my home. Middle. In my hallowed house of honor. You're right. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> now I have to oh god. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking Poppy to you, the buddy. chiffy! See my lady <laughs> See my lady looking spiffy! She said I'll be a quickie. She gave him the sippy. This is it, everyone. We have Welcome to the Little the Tuesdays. Welcome to on. the worst bit we've ever done on the show. It's kind of the best, though. It's making me laugh the most. Like it's the best, but it's also the worst. This they is can, this they is can the exist peak. simultaneously. It's never, it's never going anywhere from here. Nope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I peaked your stream. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> this, is, character, yeah. this is this is the fucking this is the stream character. This is the first stream character. Streamers do this all the time. Uh huh. Yeah. God, I wish I had a, I wish I had a voice example. modulator. I'd make all kinds of stupid voices and characters with that. 
Lil Cheesy EP Len, I'm never doing it. <laughs> Even as a bit, I feel like it's too much. <laughs> God. Also, I don't want to be pigeonholed as comedy for releasing a Lil Tuesday EP. Man, I'm I'm really kind of like, serious up, music. I'm really kind of walking up to these monkeys and just going. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> noise. God. I hate TF2, but I love TF2 frying pan noise. TF2 frying pan noise is an is is, is a. Uh, it's a genre on its own. It, it, it is like a subgenre of loud equals funny, but in the best way possible. Mm-hmm. Let me save the game, please. I also get to see all the monkey data. Let's see the monkey data. Speaking of uh, uh, subgenres that are good, I really like feature finds. Oh, I never noticed that. One ton, Eins, and Zayas. Those are the guys from uh, Planet of the Apes! Oh, oh, it is Zayus! That's Dr. Zayus! Oh Dr. Zayus, Dr. Zayus! Dr. Zayus, Dr. Zayus! Dr. Zayus, Dr. Zayus. Dr. Zayus. Dr. Zayus. Phil the casual, very supportive, boring dad who plays phone games feel connected to his gamer kids. Hey, son! You wanna go, uh, Pokemon some goes? Something about gamer dad just sits with me. I, I love that. I adore that. Son, I, I, I haven't played a game since the Super Nintendo. Can you please explain what Earthbound is? I never played this one as a kid. Son, can you he, please he explain to me? Classic. Can you please explain to me what a video game is? I have not what, played a game what is since Winston? the Atari. Who, who is what Winston? Is a, what is a scrim? Is that like a scrimmage? Also, uh, remember Fantastic Boys? Oh, Phil V. Casual. Oh my god. Oh, that's hilarious. That's actually Son, sick. you'll be you'll be really proud of me. I just installed Bejeweled on my phone. Hey, son, I found this new game on the computer. It's called Lose Lose. Don't know why anyone wants to play it. I should sell the Macintosh right now! <laughs> son, <laughs> I've heard- I've, the, real, the real end goal to this is probably like, at least in my case, Son, I have discovered this new game called Postal. I really like it. Oh my god, can you imagine? There are dads who are like this, and I'm certain it's going to happen eventually. Son! As a regular God-fearing Christian in this country, I have to tell you, I what's this coastal. game? What's this game called, Mass Builder? Oh, son, I need to know what is night. What is Nights in the Dreams about? I am so confused. And that's when, like, the kid goes, "I don't fucking know either." It's about dreams, uh, forehead. <laughs> I know it's about dreams, but like. Have you played that game? It's the least fucking straightforward game I think I've ever played in my whole um, life. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a very bizarre game. I wouldn't mind actually- I might, I might actually stream it at some point, just be like, whoa, whoa. Uh, you should learn how to emulate microphone support so you can play Caution C, man. Oh, lord. I'm, I'm resisting the urge to make the joke, but I'm really thinking about it. You gotta be careful with stuff sayings. I don't want to incriminate myself. I, I, I really probably should stick to one game, but like I said, I don't want to pigeonhole myself either. Anyway, ever see Fantastic Voyage? Uh, no, I have not, but I have, I know the premise. What also, to, to quote, um, to quote MF Doom real quick. While lonely, even alone, home, end up with carpal tunnel syndrome. We're just in a dude right now. Oh, yeah. Gross. Yeah. We're inside of King Henry VIII, everybody. Jabu Jabu, but Jabu, even Jabu Jabu isn't this bad. Jabu Jabu's is pretty bad. I think it's way worse than this. I think the Sonic Acid is bad. Yeah. It really adds something unpleasant here. Yeah. Are your lives just shirts, by the way? That's great. Yeah, they're my they're my little t-shirts. And, and you, you, those uh the life bar points, those are just cookies. That's what I thought they were. Oh damn! Dude, use airborne jump frames to avoid getting caught. What a gamer. Cannonball. Son, I don't know who this Gendy Tarkovsky guy is, but I like his Star Wars cartoon. Son, 
What is a loot box? <laughs> I don't know how he stabs really into Gendy Tartakovsky's Clone Wars, but I, I respect it. Yeah, this one's kind of fucked up. I think he knocked the bombs back. Yeah, no, this is this is worse. I might just die here if I don't catch this monkey fast enough. Also, this monkey has a gun instead of a dude. What the fuck? Also, he's gonna fuck this guy up. Like we've had a couple monkeys with guns. No, that's what, he's inside a dude with a gun. That's incredibly unsafe. Whoa! Guns don't go there. Should fucking hurt. I was gonna say, have we not you... died yet? <laughs> how have the was... junior not died yet? This guy's like a little like a fucking three full clips. I've been literally schmoovin' the hardest I've ever schmoved to not die there. Playing out of my mind. Honestly, that was really impressive. By the way, these fucking textures look like Minecraft copper in some of them, like those blocks. That's just Minecraft ah. copper. Minecraft cop. Don't don't do this. Those are called server mods. <laughs> Minecraft cop, the person looking in the dream getting doxxed. <laughs> oh, I still can't believe he actually got doxxed. So this isn't really it was doxxed because this was public information prior. Dude's real name is Clay. <laughs> I think the my favorite fucking, part about the him like, leader? The, I think the, the worst part about him getting doxxed has to be that the wow 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 uh is is that like the reason he got doxxed is oh god I'm not even talking about it I I'm, I'm leaving it alone I know what happened and I agree it is like the worst fucking thing in the world oh my god how does this dude have a career why don't I have a bigger career give me a bigger following I'm not racist Viv, I just want to say, uh, just knowing what happened to, uh, those people who call that dream first racism, this- just be careful. Yeah, listen, I'm- I'm too So Dream got doxxed, because his, uh, fans doxxed, uh, black and gay people. Also, the reason that he got doxxed was also because he was part of a quote-unquote inoffensive KKK fan cam. Truly, it is the uh, peak of hubris. Also, this happened like 24, less than 24 hours after he said it. Doxing isn't so bad. Yeah, it doesn't hurt it anybody really at all. Like... It really affects you. <laughs> Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Yeah, here, look, we're just fighting Jabu Jabu boss right now. But this is worse, because it screams when I hit it. Yeah, this is. This is awful. Yep, yep, I did not stutter. This is the worst th mm. This is the worst thing in my whole life. It could be worse. That that thing that you were just hitting, that that I don't like that. Yeah, it's not great. Like I said, why don't I have a bigger career? Give me a bigger career. I deserve it more lol. <laughs> I don't really want, like, a huge career. Like, I don't want to make this, like, a, a colossal thing. I just want to... It's, it's sounds inside of somebody's body. Like a giant dinosaur body. But it is scrungly, yeah. Uh... So I want to be, like, you know, bodies, underground um... popular. Popular enough that I can make a living off of, but not, like, to the point where I need to, like, you know, get forgiven for being, like, a clown online. If I do something stupid, I don't want people to apologize for me. I need to just own up to stupid shit that I do. Wow, 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 wow. I don't want to be famous at all. That just sounds miserable. Yeah, like I just, I just want to. I want to be some stupid, uh, like underground person that only a couple people know about. That's great. Like I would, I want to be like, like underground. I just want to make enough money that I can subsist off of, and that's about it. Like I don't want to be I mean, mega famous. I, I just, you know what? I'm fine working in tech. Like I'm able to survive here for now, and that's fine. So, I, I'm just going to, you know, take it easy, I guess, or at least try to. The sad thing is that if I get, like, any degree of popularity, uh, you might be unfortunately brought along with me for the ride, compadre. Yeah, that's a good point. It's gonna be so funny when I forget all the context and like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> yeah. 
I don't even remember the context of that one. Oh, uh, it was on, uh, For Alligator Sprite. That's what that quote is about. Well, who put more little butts? Also, I hate to complain about my, my literal elementary school younger son. Younger but son? But, like, brother, god. My brain's not working. I was gonna say, like, holy shit, damn. He's young enough to maybe possibly be my son. If things went bad, I That's guess. Kinda scary. Yeah, a little bit. Being older is fucked up. Oh! But, Monkey um, Houdini! Alright, alright, alright. He plays all right. Roblox. And he screams like like a banshee whenever something goes wrong, and it is like. So yeah, children do that sometimes. Please tell me. The thing about, like, being a child is that, like, you're going to scream a lot. Yeah. I did, too. I still am, like, a, I'm generally a loud person. Like, yeah, I, grew I up am in a, in a, horribly uh, loud. I grew up in a uh, house of a uh, certain decibel. Good. I'm just decibel autistic house. and, like, with no, like, sense of, uh, like, audio control. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes, too. And it, may, it makes my family so mad. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's typing on a computer. Alright, this will probably be the last set of stages I do. And I'm gonna go and chow the hell down. Next up will be an extremely cold time also, I don't understand what- I, I, Like, I, I know about this area, but like I don't understand what he means when he uh, gets this next part he's gonna talk to about after this. Your gadgets will protect Your gadgets will protect you. Right. Like, I, I, hmm. I don't know what he means by that. What does he mean by this? I have no idea. This is where I get, like, my one of my favorite gadgets, I think. I think it might be. No. I think it's the next stage. We are already almost done with, like, the kind of normal path of the game. Tia, she, she saw something funny on Twitter. <laughs> the gadgets are self-warming. The, the girls are fighting. <laughs> I love the girls are fighting. I, I hate I hate to invoke the I invoke the I'm stuff guy, but I'm stuff guy. The gadgets are self warming. <laughs> the gadgets are overheating. <laughs> I don't know why that format is so funny to me. The reactor core is overloading. Why is the I'm stuff guy like react like uh, format of things just the funniest thing on planet Earth to me? <laughs> there was a Superman. <laughs> yeah, like that. It's that stuff. <laughs> like, there's a certain level of absurdity. It's like it's restating the point. I'm stuff guy. It's this one pose picture of Robert Downey Jr. holding his hand up in black and white, and people like put in like uh, very like obvious explanations to like stuff as like a joke. Yeah. I, I just called me I'm outside stuff guy. of my house. That meme. Yeah, that's, that one. <laughs> that's the personal favorite. Bro, where'd you go? Bro, where'd you actually go? Dude. Bro. Also, um. Monkey missing? The yeah, RDJ somebody somebody meme. stole my apes? How will I ever be able to non fungible them? I don't know who Robert Jr. Jr. is. I just see the I'm stuff guy. He was an Iron Man. <laughs> God, I'm envious of this person who's made up. Who doesn't know about Robert Downey Jr.? Yes. God, I. This I want to the I knowledge of every person who did blackface from my memory forever. Yeah. <laughs> also, I saw someone interpret. Uh, you know the unmade kaiju Baggin, right? Yeah. Um. Someone's like, yeah, this is just a dude, bro. He's like a slacker. Oh, you know what? Speaking of uh, kaiju, you see the trailer for Shin Ultraman. Uh, yeah, I did. It was rad. Yeah, it does look pretty neat. I, I like Wait, that it's I... like a weird One. midpoint between like the goofy, like realistic models and like a lot more like modern day kind of like animation behind it. It's neat. Yes, I did see this. It was rad. Also, it feels like an Evangelion. Not Evangelion. It feels like a, um, what's his name? Production. Ano, yeah. Yeah. I like that the, um, that the beam he has is inspired by the Showa beam, where it's just, like, a bunch of, like, lines drawn on the screen. Yeah, like it is the really old Godzilla fun. breath. 
how it used to be. I'm excited to see like the uh, the Shin Kamen Rider transformation, honestly, too. That's God, I'm so excited to see that Spider-Man uh, villain. So neat. Uh, looking at it when it's going to be like almost one to one like the original version. And it's not going to go up for like two more years. <laughs> Fuck. Ah well. At least we have the I'm double anime to tide us over. Yeah. I forgot that was being made. <laughs> yeah, I did too until I, I remembered it. Listen, after the O's movie, I just, I just hope it's good. Yeah, that O's movie was real bad. The O's movie is like probably the low point of modern Common Rider. And it's a shame because like Oh man, like they get to meet again and then it's like at so the end. Amazing. And it's. They just. They kill him off just to. Oh, it makes me so mad. Literally just for the sake of a nonsensical parallel. Oz is the best Neo Heisei. Uh, Thanks, I'm bye, Tia. See you later. I don't know. Oz is really good, but like. When? Forze. Drive! Type! Tia! There she goes. Boom, boom. Da, 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 da. Nice mm, drive! Funny she <laughs> I really love that the uh fucking what's it called? That that the uh mock driver says nice work when you like get out of transformation. When you dehatch him, yeah. Yeah, the driving driver does that too. But no, but like it's really funny just seeing it happen when they get knocked out of it and it says nice work and they're just on the floor. That's so good, that's true. I didn't even consider that. Single Drive is shift a lot car. of things. Uh, wait, what's one single by shift car? Is that uh Rider Dead Heat? Sing no, single by yeah, that is Dead Heat, I think only, but it might be Rider! Right Cause there's a couple Dead Heat! Yeah, Dead Heat is a single bike and a shift. I really think if the Mock Driver ever gets up to English, hint it won't. It should roll its R's. Yeah. Like, I really just don't to go think it should get, uh, put it in English, personally. Yeah. Uh, really? there's definitely drivers I have wanted dubbed into English just because I want to see how they're handled. Uh, I don't remember how they did the, uh, one for, um, Dragon Knight. But I know that Well, Dragon it just retained the same sound. I mean, I mean, like, the ones with Common voices. Rider, and it's like... That's so yes. dumb. I will also transform and just say Power Ranger. Like I, I oh, wait, they do action. Do that. I will take transform or change. But they do literally. I mean, to be fair, they can do it well. Then I'm more like Kenshin Go Go and uh, Beautiful Joe, which I am going to get to eventually. Fun fact. Uh, 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 fucking what's his name? I was called uh, Marks uh, Jevil. In Japan, he just says Henshin in place of Metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. When I think there, I, I don't know if there's a better word for that than and Henshin. I know that, know um, what's her name says it too when she does Gregor Samson sometimes, uh, Wait, Philia. Me when someone says the word transform in Japanese, is that a fucking Kamen Rider reference? No. Here's one really of my favorite isn't. gadgets in the game. The Sky Flyer is really cool. Does it like to fly in the sky? Holy it shit. Does. You won't be able to advance to the next level. Good luck. Metamorphosis. Bye bye. So yeah, it just gives you a. You can reach higher to higher platforms and stuff like that. It's a really really fun gadget. Um, there's a couple other ones that are really good too. We won't get those for a little bit. I think our next gadget isn't until we uh, get back <coughs> to present day. Let me actually double check that. Oh, I can't. Okay. Be after I leave. Did you want to hear the worst thing I've ever heard in my whole life about oh, public transportation? Yeah, lay it on me. Public transportation is a corrupt government enterprise supported by the people who pay taxes and own and drive their own car for a few privileged who like to own nothing. Wow. Way to want to be the smartest person in the room. <laughs> Someone replied the saying, you mean the same people who pay for public services like police, fire, water, waste management, etc.? Public transport isn't for people who own nothing, ever use it to their convenience. You don't make sense at all. Enjoy your public transportation. I will. Thanks. Well, let me guess. I mean, I don't have to, but this is in Twitter, right? Oh, even worse, based on the screenshot, it's from Facebook. Oh, so a whole different brand of geniuses, I see. Facebook geniuses are somehow s smarter than uh, Twitter geniuses. 
Depends what I, we're I say about. smarter, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Depends what we're talking about, right? They don't, though. Yeah. Joke is they. I don't know. ABK. ABK? I love that game. It's got a Kotsky in it. Mm. Um. Oh, fuck. Someone did a digital Next. repaint. I read Photoshop of a Transformers, uh, the Kingdom version of Optimus Primal just to be Donkey Kong. Nice. I I wish I saw the finger uh, figure so I could repaint it. Um, I wonder there any like I'm I'm sure there are. I'm gonna see if there's any like Gundams painted look like uh, Transformers just for shits. I'm still thinking about that one. Um bit everybody made fun of or saying oh well looking at a gundam is like oh yeah it's a transformer and everybody just made like all kinds of art as like the original gundam as a transformer like turning into the truck and everything it's great so stupid ouch there's also an enemy guy too that'll show off a little later the enemies in this game are really fun. New kind of guy, an enemy guy. A villain dude. Viv, what is the best way to have potatoes as a side dish? Fries. There's a couple of methods. Ooh, good take, good take. Hmm. Okay, but out of the non-fry ones, what um, would you say? probably just as either like like a baked potato, or maybe even as just okay. like home fries or whatever. Honestly, I was gonna say mashed potato. Or probably, I don't uh, gel with mashed potatoes. What about funny, my funny potatoes? autism brain sees like you know goop food and goes. Mmm. Fair enough. How do you feel about scalloped potatoes? Eh, I don't think I really had them. Or like oh gratin potatoes. They're like small slivers of potato that are like nice and like like kind of chewy and like a. Uh, I just a like sauce. I, I like potato nice. like wedges like the like the potato cut up into like small individual pieces like with like herbs and spices. Base. And shit. That's so good. That's literally my favorite kind. I think if it's not like fried. Oh, fuck, I forgot to include breakfast. Fucking, uh, hash browns. Hash- Mmm... Hash browns are fucking- Now, what kind- when I, What kind of hash browns do I mean, though? That's the real question. Do I mean hash brown bricks, my beloved, or do I mean hash brown, like, scattered, also my beloved? Hash brown bricks and scattered are both pretty good. I, I'm a fan of the brick, because they're easier to hold in my hand. I like when- I like when hash browns have a little bit of, like, onion added to them as well, and it's like, oh, it's, like, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm. Mm. But yeah, I'm not a fan of like pre goop food. It comes from like like being a child and like going, eh, I don't like applesauce. And like. I, I never honest, really liked, I, like I refuse food. to eat applesauce these days. I, I can't I can't gel with pre goop food. Actually, not even these days. I've I never liked applesauce. Other than solidarity, being having weird. I could never. With, like weird kinds of. I could never have uh, potato pancakes in the traditional way, but I still love potato pancakes. Fuck yeah. Potato knishes. I've never had a knish. Potato never had a knish. Knishes. Have you ever had a um I Oh they're they're they're, they're like knishes with the pole. What are those called? Knishes. Oh, you mean uh pierogies? Pierogies fuck. Yeah, I've never had them. I will pierogies try to get my hands on some. Do they fuck. Uh, speaking of uh, various dumplings across Europe, uh how do you feel about uh what are the Italian ones called? They're like a soup sometimes. Gnocchi. Never had them. They are interesting. They're like little starchy potato dumpling pasta. Um, I've had uh, usually kind of, soup. like one of the other Italian kinds, like the kind of like ravioli. It's like that, yeah. but not the same. And let me tell you something for free, for free dollar, for three dollars and ninety nine cents, is that fried uh, ravioli fucks. is the best fucking thing ever. Yes, it fucks so hard. I used to not like ravioli because I was a kid and I was like, I don't, I don't like Chef Boyardee. Viv, you want to hear something that's going to freak your fucking, like, brain right now? Mm hmm Ravioli isn't a dish. It is a subclass of dishes. There are dozens of types of ravioli. Well, let me tell you, I had some, like, lobster ravioli ones. Those things go hard. There's several... Like, any filled pasta in, um... In Italy is a ravioli. Mm. My favorite ravioli, the, uh, lasagna. Yeah. But... Damn it! I was trying to hit it back, but I died. Tortellini's are one for sure. 
Tortellini's pretty good. Um, Miss Luna is also one you would probably know. It might be Tortellini. Like, I know I had a lot Tortellini's of fun just, little... like, grabbing, like, a bunch of frozen ones and just deep frying them and going, like, yeah, I'll eat this. I should uh, get some. Tortellinis like... are the ones that, like, look like circles, almost. But not, like, flat circles, they're, like, curled circles. They're, like, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah. I need to get more money to go grocery shopping. I'm so fucking broke. I won't make fun of European food most of the time, but like Italian's fucking it, Italy, it Italy out. Italy does it right. Britain is the one that does it wrong. In France, arguably, sometimes. They have good bread. I'll give them that. They got good bread. France. Fran French food is overrated. Incredibly. Like they eat snails. What the fuck do they know? Those are my fucking friends, you monsters. Also, the Dutch can't be fucking trusted. They put mayo on French fries. Hmm. I mean, the Dutch can't be trusted for other reasons, but yeah. I mean, yes, but that too. Thousand Island dressing on fries does go hard, though. Love oh, that. it slaps. Uh, I... Mm. Get that bomb shit away from me. I tried something really cursed one time. I was like, what would go... I need to find out what else goes good with, uh... Fucking Thousand Island. So I did some testing. I did culinary mm -hmm. testing at my kitchen. Uh, I tried saltine crackers at one stage. It's, it's it's pretty much any cracker in like that sauce works pretty well because it's just a way to deliver that flavor or a chip. Oh man, ranch and like chicken is a match made in heaven. Ranch and fried chicken. Mm. Oh god, I'm not a, I'm not a ranch head by any means. I know some people fucking love ranch, but ranch and like chicken tenders or chicken fingers, however you want to call them. Is Chicken bacon ranch backwards. is legit like a goaded sandwich. That is a trifecta of flavors you will never improve. The chicken parm may claim make like Chicken claim, bacon uh, ranch only bacon gets is... improved by adding a little bit of cheese on that bad boy. Ooh. Like I should mm, I'm thinking about making like a chicken more bacon ranch. Cheese, though. Chicken... Less heavy than like American. Yeah. No 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 no. Here, here here's my here's my hot take. Here's my hot take. Are you ready? Chicken bacon ranch with pepper jack. That's what I'm Ooh. thinking about. Oh, that's, that that's, that's the that's the shit I'm smelling. Here's the thing: How do you feel about pickles? Pickles are good. I I, I, yeah, I, I like pickles. pickles. I yeah, I, yeah, I, I bet do you not like understand pickles. the hype. <laughs> yeah, fuck, you're right. <laughs> but, you kind of um, walked into I, that one. I kind of did, but I've never understood the hype behind uh the traditional quote Southern style chicken sandwich. Ah, oh, yeah. Like, 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 just pickles and, and chicken? Like, I mean, I feel well, like it's, it's probably the way they cook it. It's probably also, like, a little bit of, like, you know, hot sauce or whatever on there, which does sound pretty good. Yeah, you know, the hot sauce, I think, would add another dimension to it. I just mean, like, the ones you see that are also so popular fast food joints these days, they forgo any spiciness. Oh, hey, by the way, I gotta fuck with a polar bear real quick. Excuse me. Uh, up, just like Crash Bandicoot. Mm hmm Yo, what period in time is this, by the way? Uh, it's the Ice Age. What killed the dinosaurs? I was gonna fucking say it's the Ice Age! Allow me to break the ice. God, there was a really I would, I would adore it if Mr. Freeze, like, just made a bunch of stupid, goofy ass ice puns to cover up the this, fucking messy wife. This reminds me of the fucking weirdest thing I've ever heard Jerma say in my entire life. Mm hmm. Uh, That's he saying was something. Yeah, he at, one, he at one point claimed that an Arnold's impression and Bernie Sanders' impression are the same thing. They really aren't. And anyone that can differentiate them is a great voice actor. Jerma just Viv says shit. Viv, neither like, was some voice actors, I remember he said something I, about, like, Viv, bank give, give me your best army. Give me your best army real quick. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, say I, I the, really say something one. he says, like, I don't know, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah, see? Okay, now do it, Bernie. Uh, give me a second. I have to- I have to put it in my- in my headspace, and I'm doing, like, three things at once. Um... Uh, talk about income disparity, but in the Mushroom Kingdom. <sighs> shit. Give me a second, give me a second. Let me, let me... I- I don't know exactly what his voice sounds like. I know it, but I also don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if I can do it. Actually. You know what, I'll- for sake of argument, I'll do it myself. Some people have 99 coins and they're one coin away from a what? Oh, what up? Those are not the same voice at fucking all. Yeah, like one is like, is just that is just a guy from New York. Yeah. Like that, like that, like you're like a like a chill Italian guy from New York who runs a bodega, that kind of stuff. 
And Arnold. He's not is... Italian, by the way. He's Jewish. I was so clarifying. I should have said, yeah, yeah. Should have said that. He still runs a. He runs a deli. It's okay. I should have said that. I. I yeah. For some reason, he they kind of just both occupy the, the same space Fine. in my brain. <laughs> no, I, I get it because they are like two incredibly influential cultures on shaping American culture. Mm -hmm. That's literally why. I don't think there's anything that like wrong with saying that, as far yeah. as I know. Yeah, so we just had to do a little bit of. I'm uh, also Jewish, so that does count for something. I think into a, into an ice wall, but uh, yeah, like they, they are definitely two distinct voices. Like Jerma just says shit sometimes, and it's just like, dude, come on, really? Yeah, Jerma right. just says the most. Mm -hmm. I just zooted say more streamer. stupid out of pocket. Shot, I'm not like, zooted. I, I, I have not more, consumed any cannabis. I just say more stupid out of pocket shit, but I don't know like what's the bottom line. I've been doing a decent job of saying stupid shit today. We really peaked with today, huh? Uh huh. It's all downhill from here. And I love that best friend cast episode. You know, I actually think we've said this about the stream before, and we've only gotten funnier. So <laughs> I don't know. There's hope for us yet. Ah! Okay. I need to like just get funnier. I don't know how to get funnier, but I need to get funnier. I mean, is not being one half of the world's best tag team good enough for you? True, but also on my own, we are not here to uh, you know give me a uh, an, a, a uh, you know our, our 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 stupid tag team of talking about stupid shit. Ah! Like I, 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 I just absolutely called the double trouble. What are you to, thinking? Uh, to to jack your bit for a minute and reference media. I, I really am like whole horse but verbal. <laughs> no, you're more like Mister but verbal. No, I mean that in the sense that I work best as part of a team, and I need to work uh... better on being funny on my own. I thought you meant uh, shoot self in foot and uh, elsewhere. Oh yeah, listen, I'll shoot myself in the foot any time of the week. You That's more my thing. When you haven't been around to see some of the dumb shit I've said on here and immediately get like called out for, because I've said some dumb shit. Yeah, but shit. think about like every time I'm here on stream, I've said at least one dumb thing. Yeah. Well, I'm here every day and I say dumb shit. That's a good point. <laughs> dumb beat. I'm kind of fine. Now I I'm just drive the school bus. That being said, I am like kind of smart though sometimes. Yeah, very often. I can explain why MF Doom is like one of the best rappers of all time. Like, and go into detail about it for at least ten minutes. I literally did this with my mom in the car today. It fell upon deaf ears, but you know I it just, happened. I, I I I talk about like just genuine <coughs> and like a lot of different like thought provoking stuff with uh, my folks if I have to discuss things and I'm in the mood to. Yeah. I do that shit all the time. Like, honestly. It, what What is the deal with that? Because I know people who actually do this as well. Like, pe other people as well. Like, you know what I mean? What do you mean? <laughs> like, I, I know people who are like, yeah, let's just like have these thought-provoking discussions with my parents just for fun. A lot of it isn't for fun, a lot of it is just, you know, because... It's brought up, it's, it's the, it's the, the nuance household. of of being in this country, when you're that's a good point. Of, a, of a certain minority group. Or multiple, for that matter. That's a good point. Get fucked, dude. I forgot I could do that to these clowns. Like, I was like, why am I just hitting them, and I can just do that? Noom. I, actually, I don't remember, I think, like, I never got up here as a kid, I think, but I don't remember. I don't know why this is, but I have such a stupidly, stupidly good mind for trivia. Like, yeah, I do too. I am the perfect trivia bastion. God looked at me and said, this one's gonna hold all my fact. This one's gonna know too much about shit. This one's gonna know about the Nintendo DS, like, a fuck ton. <laughs> this one's gonna, this one is born to play the Nintendo DS. <laughs> And think about playing the Dreamcast, but never really do it. You should. Dreamcast has cool games. It's fucking good. <laughs> like Floygan Brothers. Just don't fucking talk about Floygan Brothers. <laughs> I fucking hate that game. <laughs> I mean, play it and I know I hate it. Come on, SpongeBob, get up, man! Don't fuck with me, SpongeBob! 
All right, I'm gonna end the stream and I'm chow down on some Chinese food. I uh, hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, more Devil May Cry 4 and more about... Ape Escape. I'm sorry, my last um, stream was having, Spider being, er, having Patrick being un aggressively aggro. If you like the stream and you want to help me uh, buy groceries and all this other shit, here's my support links. Uh, you can also yeah, sub if you, have a Patreon, if you have a Prime sub or whatever. You can also just sub in general at this point. Like, I, 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 I know I need the cash, so I don't really have a lot of you know, ability to just say, eh. But, you know, if you want to just do a one-time donation, it's probably better if it's in your ability to do so. Um, here's my Discord. Next week on Twitter, Viv will be revealing who Mike from Deltarune is. I could be. Toby's giving me information. He's giving me the reins to Undertale. Um, first order of business, <laughs> uh, Toriel is a lesbian. <laughs> the crowd applause. Wahoo. <laughs> Wahoo. Anyway, um... Thanks, right, bye everybody. I will see y'all later. Let me go and raid Pasta Pangolin because it is birthday. I'll Good see you boy. later, everybody. Bye. Which way is this thing? Goodbye.